What's up, everybody? Matt Wiggins once again from Matt Wiggins Entertainment and Designs with beautiful Norma Jean. And after much contemplation and thought, I have decided to do an update on Norma Jean, taking her from these beautiful strakes to this beautiful setup. And I'd like to demonstrate how I did that. So first thing, of course, is I've taken the strakes off of the front of Norma Jean and placed them in the proverbial garage and taking a dive into the wild world of plasti dipping, taking these beautiful white strakes and turning them black using this crazy stuff. Uh, gonna need some cleaning supplies like this to uh, clean the strakes. And then one important thing you wanna do is place your plasti dip in a hot bucket of water for 10 to 15 minutes. Really helps the consistency of the spray as it comes out. And the next interesting thing that you need to figure out is how you're going to get full coverage uh, of the piece, which is kind of an awkward shape and you could hold it, but that probably really wouldn't work. You could set it flat, but then again, you'd have to either wait for it to completely dry and turn it over, um, or you're gonna end up uh, you know, potentially getting some blemishes, or you could turn it on its end or hang it, but then you get the lovely dripping potential. So I've devised a plan using tester paints. Well, not the paints exactly, but the box. I figured out you've got this little tab right here on the box that is going to solve all of your problems. It is quite revolutionary indeed. Just to demonstrate, uh, grabbing one of the unpainted strakes here, we can walk over to the box. You see the tab on the bottom side, which fits absolutely perfectly right over the tab on the box and then voila you've got yourself a nice stand to get full 360 degree coverage angle it how you'd like and then later on i discovered that it would probably be best to take the piece and move it towards the end of the box so i can actually get underneath get full coverage with the leading edge and the top obviously being the most important and then you can come around and as you can see you can get full 360 degree coverage getting that trailing edge as well now after the first coat, you can see how nice the Plasti Dip lays on the piece, but there is a key to that. One is heating it. That's very important to get the consistency that you need as it shoots out of the nozzle. And two, you wanna lay down relatively heavy layers all the way throughout the process, probably three or four layers. Um, you can see that I don't have any orange peel effect going on here, and that's because you don't want to lay on a dusting of the, the product uh, to begin with, nor throughout the process. You want to lay on pretty heavy coats. I'm going to give you a demonstration here of how I did it. You want to make nice, even, full strokes over the uh, piece. Uh, make sure that you get all the crap out of the nozzle beforehand, and then start moving, and then a little slow motion here to show the form, making nice, even, even strokes all the way over the piece and then moving around to the back of course and doing the same thing uh, this is after three layers you can see a nice glossy finish of course once this dries up it will take on that matte finish and as long as you're laying on these wet coats and letting them dry probably 10 minutes between you're going to get this nice smooth very very professional and rather beautiful finish and here we are after the fourth and final coat. I decided to stop after four coats on the strakes uh, in order to only use one can for all four strakes, which you can do on a budget of about $6. And what you can see, they look pretty dang nice. The two on the left there are still a little bit wet, have that glossy type finish, but the two on the right are starting to dry up, taking on a nice smooth finish. Zero orange peel. I was super super impressed with this product i have to say yes you have to use some technique yes it takes some patience and some trial and error but as you can see once again the results are really quite lovely i mean this looks like it could be straight from the factory and as a matter of fact maybe even a little bit better than factory why well because i did it on my own and so can you takes a little bit of time takes a little bit of patience but, you know, take a risk, uh, do the research. There's, like I said, there's lots of videos on plastic dipping online, but I didn't see anything specifically about the strakes on the 981 Boxers, so I wanted to make my own video on that. Hopefully it's helpful for some of you guys. 
Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have an awesome day.